Hey. Raccoons. I had a funny intro the first time. Don't feel like it this time. Nothing even happened. It's just... You'll see. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I'm, I'm kind of losing patience with this game. Um, like, the save states are helping, but only somewhat. It just, it, there's still some bad design from the first game that's leaking through and they haven't fixed yet. So, it's making it frustrating. But, uh, I'm gonna try to just grin and bear it. Get to the good stuff. Okay, all ten? Good, all ten. Yeah. Right. Yeah, last time there was a straggler. Louis is apparently just becoming tall. Sure. Let's go with that. I mean, he did. I don't know. I didn't see anything. No. <laughs> Alright. Brarf. So, I'm just following the same instructions I was given last time. Um, yep. And I, uh, I, I we immediately run really into issues. Yeah, so... I spent probably, like, four minutes trying to kill these things, because, basically... It's really, really hard to pull more, like, just one away from the group. It's kind of doing... Nope. I got distracted. One, it's hard to pull one away from this group. Two, they don't seem to take much interest if you're up on the ledge. Three, the stick gets in the way. Four, the Pikmin don't always listen to you. Like, I, uh... Okay, come on. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, that's what happened last time. It was because they were attacked. And then you whistled them. They were, like, still, like... Pause so you're not wasting time. Like, if it bites down on a couple, like, you know, there's a few seconds before they die. And when you kill the enemy, it takes a good, like, three, four seconds or whatever for them to, like, come back out of the body. <clears throat> okay. And so when you whistled, they were still, like, half dead and they would had no way of responding to you. This and should be, it should be more obvious that when that's happening because it, it's kind of just seemed like they were not listening to me for no reason. It was really annoying. Just go for the other one. I did. I, I thought I was within the radius where it wouldn't. Yeah. Okay, we're good. There's a fence. All right. <laughs> yep. And, I already. Uh, I already wasn't in a good mood, and then you know, I was. I've. I've the, f the first couple sessions, I was looking forward to this game, because I'm like, yeah, it's you like this one better, I know they fixed some stuff. For the record, this is the third recording session I started recording two weeks ago. Um, and But after the bullshit last time, I'm kind of dreading this game a little bit, I'm hoping it picks up. You warned me that, you know, the Empress Fall Blacks in that cave is like hardly even the worst thing anyway in the game, like this way worse. So, I'm not looking forward to that, but um, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna try... I'm I, I feel like knowing that something is bad makes it more tolerable. Like, if you go in yeah, with I can better expectations. That. At least that's how it works for me. If I, like... Do you that that was part of the reason why I fucking hated Breath of the Wild, was because I read nothing but people saying, like, oh, this game is so fucking easy. If you die, you're Which just, is bizarre, you know, because I was seeing like, the exact opposite everywhere. Um, like, if you ever die, then you just need to quit games forever. And, you know, I was dying constantly. I'm like, I fucking hate this. I don't... I... I no. Like... <laughs> yeah. In my case, like... You know, I, I've... Not beaten, but I've played some amount of I Wanna Be The Guy. And that game doesn't frustrate me. And the reason is that I go... Every time I've tried to play it, I go into it knowing this is, like... You know, super precise. It's very demanding of your... Um, you know, particular inputs, like, that's yeah. just the kind of game it is, and so I don't go in being, like, expecting to do well. I go in, and each, you know, each little bit of progress I can make feels that's like a huge sad, victory. I guess, because more I miss. Each little bit of progress I can make feels like a huge victory, and so that game, I actually kind of like it. Again, I'm not good at it, I haven't beaten it, but... Yeah, it's one. Yeah. Uh... Okay, it didn't kill any. And if this if this was Pikmin one, that would have killed like forty. Yeah, I know. 
I never remember if it's safe to swarm while I walk, because I usually just throw a Pikmin on top, but I guess swarming is uh, not always a bad idea. I, I had a lot of blues, I figured it was fine. Alright, I would kill those two dumples before you do anything else. Um, you can maybe just go in and get them both, but yeah, if you want to split them up, that's not a bad idea. It's always with the fucking two that... Yeah. We do say that, yeah. <laughs> They're just way too into getting set things out. Alright, don't go down there, you won't be able to get back up. Okay. So, now you want to grab the whites. Uh... Oh. And what, go to this little dug up thing? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll leave the blues here. Somewhere where they won't pick shit up. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fine. Just... <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, just, yeah. I would recommend leaving Olimar here. Or, it's coming up pretty... Yeah, yeah, just leave Olimar here. That's fine. Okay. And then... Leave, like... 20 blues. It's at this point, it's fucking halfway out of the ground and whatever. Just let it come out of the ground and then you're gonna need the blues to carry it because the whites can't take it off. Nine blues. I... That's not enough. Yeah, just. Man, it's so annoying to just select. It's okay. Yeah, just switch to Olimar, take the whites off it, throw them back up, and then. Yeah. They have done their job. So here's the fun part. They're going to carry this to the left, and there's more enemies down Back there. So, the left. Um, Wait, what do you mean? They're going to go over that Like off ledge? the ledge, yeah. Oh, good. So basically just... Yeah, you might need to like call them off at one point. I'm I'm waiting for, I'm waiting until like you know a couple randomly die from that because I'm sure it's gonna happen at some point. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I heard they made these things like super forgiving in this. All right. Uh, All right. That might have been it. Oh, here's some nectar. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what do you mean there's a treasure? Oh, it's just the one I carry. Yeah. I think there is another treasure around here, though. No, asshole. Alright. The only actor they're gonna find? Apparently. Nope. Okay. Well, it's still a good hole. I see the, uh, the <clears throat> oyster is all around. Mm. All right, I guess uh, switch to Olimar while they're carrying that, so you can take the whites back on. Yeah. All right. Although, actually, you do still need the whites for something else, so I guess just, yeah, just go grab them. I got, uh, yeah, real creative with this one, yeah. Just... This one's the onion replica. Oh. I mean, that's kind of funny. Yeah. It's like, we already have something called an onion. And I see blues have run off to join Olimar so that you can't have only whites. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, you need to put a bunch of blues away anyway because you have to break down that fence, so. Benjamin full of. What do I use lights for? Yellows. You need to. There was an electric fence. Oh, do I so I put the whites away? No, keep them out. You can just leave them at the base, though. Yeah, just leave them inside the yellow onion. I'll do. 
I'm liking the four that didn't join now. Mm -hmm. They're the the four like goth kids from South Park. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, I'm, I'm <coughs> becoming increasingly aware of the fact that I'm just doing exactly what you tell me like i know you acknowledge that at the start but it's continued and now i feel like i'm, I'm a little bit feeling like i'm not playing the game so um all right but i also don't like i don't exactly want to just wander around blindly and then not find the thing and waste half the day so like i really know yeah uh, i mean it's i mean did you see where the fence was i think so um yeah. Yeah. Okay. I do not want to take them across the bridge next to the water. I want to do this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. I'm seeing that uh, some of them are landing in the divot. Yeah. I'm seeing that as well. Let's really whistle weird. them, and then there, there's a few others that, yeah. yeah. How is the day one already almost over? Good God. I, like, didn't do anything. <laughs> I don't even know if they're gonna get this fence down. They fucking better. Come on, dog. And yet, somehow, the fucking speedrun can do this entire day in one... or this entire area in one day. I cannot imagine how that's possible. Because mm. in the eight-day run, I can barely do it in two. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. There's also a straight blue somewhere. There's... I remember, boy. Yeah. I, I, okay. Move it here, apparently. Okay. Sure. Why not? <laughs> what we got? Uh, unfortunately, this is just kind of a waiting game at this point. Should I just deal with um, the pretty boy, sir? Or... It's. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, okay. I'm thinking of other things you could do, and there's very little. It's all far away. Like. Yeah. So I, so I almost wish I had immediately put these blues back, grabbed way more yellows. Yeah, maybe. The problem is you need a bunch of blues over there anyway, but it's fine. We'll just get done what you can get done, and then you can always do more the next day. I need the blues for the cave? No, that's the Savage Castle, isn't it? Oh, no, that, this that is, drains this the is, Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Do you have a working speed up, Kay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like inefficient, but what are you gonna do? Like, yeah. there's really not much you can take care of. What? I always forget how fucking long it takes to break fences in this. I guess I'm just used to, like, Colossal Cavern or something, because they're way faster than that. Alright, um... So I guess you do have enough time to do this May cave I interject day. here? <laughs> I have been observing the two of you working together. You have been cooperating well. Yup, well, it's danger at every time. Wait, why are they only now telling me that I can split up? What the fuck? They have before. They're just reminding you, I guess. I've been doing it today. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, hey. Okay, so it's a cave and it drains the place. Yep. Is it shower room then? Yeah, check what it says it needs. All of them. Okay, so. Yeah, alright. I think you have just enough time to do that if you want to try. Or at this point, probably not. I don't know. I'm not sure why you're killing this stuff. Because it was annoying me. No, 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 I saw one still carrying shit. Several! Uh. So I have some yellows. Shit, no, I need because I need to put some of the blues back. Yeah, it's... you're you're not gonna have the time. It's <sighs> which means I I do have to do submerged castle. What? What do you mean? 
Well, because the next day is going to be, I come here, I immediately there's, do this. There's still overworld cleanup. I find that a little hard to believe, but okay. Well, look at how much got done today. You broke down two fences and collected an item. Like, Yeah, it, but that's because I was doing setup. No? The next activated. day is also set up. Like, you Jesus. can do this cave, and then there's more set up. It'll be fine. Now I kind of wish I went to go get fewer blues. I actually could. While I'm waiting, I could change out some of my blues. What do you think? Yeah, I'm doing it. What do you mean? Um. Oh, okay. I guess. Oh, no, because no, you need them to fucking break the thing down. Yeah, I only need some of them. Yeah, I guess. Throw, like, I don't know, 30 of them on there. Yes, yes, it's a cave. Thank you. Thing is, you also don't really need 30 yellows, so. Eh. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, they're carrying shit. Why? Why are they carrying shit? <sighs> because they want to. As long as I have stuff with both captains, I can hop in, right? So I can just, like, take these guys back. I think we determined that doesn't work. It only takes the ones that are, like, following the party leader or something. I don't know. Also, how the fuck do I get the yellows back? Well, the water's all gone. Oh. It didn't look like it on the right side. They're, they're all getting stuck on corners. I don't know about this one. Well, it's because I was trying to go over the bridge, hand. <laughs> oh my god. If they didn't attack the fucking tadpoles, this would be excellent. Just put them all on it, it's fine. Just... No, because I need to... But you have to fucking babysit them again anyway. Mm. Okay. Okay, yeah, just okay. grab these, go where the blister is, it's faster. I can do this. The base is right Yeah, there. it should be fine. Oh my god, <laughs> the leaves are going to be the death of you. And white's fine? Yeah. I'll bring like 15 yellows. Okay. That's, yeah. Like, 20 blues? I'd go with. I mean, the area's gonna have a lot of water. I'd go with at least 30. Okay. 35? 30, 30 should be okay. That's and what then. I'm gonna say. Yeah. Like 20? Oh. What? Oh boy. What, what do you mean? Oh, because I'm trying to. So, like 20 reds? And then 25 pebbles? I guess so. What the hell? Okay. okay. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm glad I saw some, uh, some leaves. Yeah. It's okay. You're good. It's just the le as long as the leaves don't get detached, you can just go. Oh, one dead. What? Reload the save state. I don't understand what it got detached on. What did it latch onto? Nothing. It just it lagged too far behind. Fuck off. That shouldn't be a thing. 
This is stupid, but if it doesn't work on this attempt, you can use a spicy spray to make him faster. I'm not doing that. Okay. Stop for a second. Let him catch up. Okay, go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely worth it. Also, the symbol for poison looks like the beta version of Oregon 2. What? Oh, yeah. That weird lion thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I did it because I believed in myself. Don't we feel accomplished? Sure. You gotta believe. Alright, so I'm gonna attack by a bull bears immediately. Um. You said you don't remember anything about this cave? No, I don't. Okay, well, uh. I can tell you it's a shower room. It'll probably have some shower paraphernalia, but not the rubber duck, because we already had that. Oh, good. There's I like the rubber ducks. Oh, okay. Although, I think the other one. Like, the thing is, um. I know the other one is in the, in the same area as a Snapple lid, because the fifth avocado. Oh, what? What? What what did that? Uh, there was a watery blowhog. I didn't go anywhere near it. N no. Five of you did not go anywhere near it. What are you talking about? Wait, I kind of like the uh, tadpoles. Can this thing go over this hazard? Yes. Ah. Um. Okay. Do I want to lure it over with purples? Man, I don't fucking know. This is just kind of a bad setup. <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah, and then see if we can make it jump a little closer so it doesn't shake him off into it. Alright. And... yes. Stunned it. Beyond the capability of rising once again. Okay. I hope this cave doesn't have, uh, bald men. Oh. If it did, then have Might be worth uh, looking that up before I go in, so I can get a chance to use it. I point. didn't think about them. No, 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 it's it's fine. I wasn't. That's not what I was saying. Okay, hang on. Yeah, let um, me I see. I might want to go deal with these watery blowhogs quick. Okay. Aside from the submerged castle, the only other place they show up is Hall of Heroes, which is a uh, wistful wild level. So, but it, but they also show up in. Frontier Cabin, because there was one that we didn't get to make use of. Yeah, I wasn't counting that one. Oh, okay. Oh no, Red Gyarados. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if people know what we mean by Red Gyarados. I assume you know, because you came up with Yeah, it. I do. <laughs> yeah, it's just... <laughs> when people are like, too literal with things instead of, you know, being not dumb. That was a good explanation of it. Yeah. Alright, I can take my time, it's it's all good. How many floors is this place up again? Seven. I think, let me look again. Sorry, what? Google.tick load ebb for fruit. good i don't know on my like when i looked up bulbman uh <laughs> you know on google you have the search bar and then below it there's a lot of little buttons i have images then a large gap that says google dot tick load ebf crt then shopping videos locations news <laughs> all right I'm liking these it's dead still ends. there. What the fuck is this? Yeah, it's seven floors. But that was so not what we were talking about. So I was uh, talking with Joel in the car yesterday after work. Ah. Um, that uh, I really need to try to figure out a way to. Uh, not allow any loopholes when um like I've had this conversation with you before um I'll I guess let me just let me let me start from scratch so people know what the fuck I'm talking about okay so, I don't. 
I know. Well, you'll you'll get there in a minute. Um. So, at my job, you know, I'm, I I pretty much just kind of man the meat slicer. And yeah. so, oh, what the fuck? Good. The the pan decided to move on its own. Yeah. Broken food master. <laughs> oh no! You thought it was a pan. That means you're stupid. Is that not a pan? It's oh, way it's too log. small to be a pan. Wait. It's no, it's. It, I think it's the. I think it's the bottom of a ladle. Oh, I see. I see. Because well, so for a long a time, I didn't issue. know what the fuck it was. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so yeah, my job is basically, you know, a customer walks up. Um, I'll ask them what kind of sandwich they want. I'll start making it. Pass it on to the next people. There are many issues with this because people are dumb. Um, one of the issues is they'll give me their fucking life story <laughs> where it's like, you know, it's like, hey, what can I get for you? And immediately they are like, oh, well, I don't want any tomatoes. And I'm like, I don't fucking care. Do you see me where the tomatoes are? <laughs> Tell the person over there. <laughs> so. Also, no, like, you don't need to tell me what you don't want, because we don't put anything on <laughs> yeah, until you tell no... us. But <laughs> anyway, ignoring that, like, like I said, there's many aspects to this. So there's that part, but then, yeah, I'll ask them what they want, I start making it. Unless they're getting a hot sub. And when I say hot sub, what I mean is basically a <laughs> cheesesteak. Some of them are chicken and not steak, but we still call them cheesesteaks. Okay. But, so... If they want something like that, where it's, you know, made on the grill, I don't make it. I just, I'll either, you know, depending on how busy I am, I will write the, like, the note of what they want, or I'll say, like, hey, can someone go do this? Yeah. And so, usually that's all that it comes down to. However, if I'm really busy, if I've got, like, a bunch of online orders that I'm working on, or if there's, like, a really big line or something, to try to speed things up, the next person in line will be like, hey, do you want a hot or a cold sub? And this is what introduces the problem, because people hear that, and they're immediately like, oh, I want my sub warmed up. Okay. Which they And I swear at least half the time they didn't have this thought until we introduce it. So it's like... It's like, okay, yeah, you know, I want my turkey sandwich or whatever, but I want you to warm it up. So, yeah, that's a hot sub, right? No. No, it isn't. But they think it is, and I can understand why they See, think yeah, it is. I, I, it's like, just a matter of terminology. Right. But the problem is, I don't know how to communicate this any better. Because I would never ask the question unless the whole reason for asking is basically like, Hey, if you're gonna get something that I'm not gonna be working on, we can get someone else started on that. Um, yeah. and so like it's it's basically like otherwise I would never ask. I would just say like, hey, what sandwich do you want? But you know, if I say that, and then, then they're, they're just like, oh, you know, I, and it's like, oh, I want the number five. It's like, okay, well, give me a couple minutes. It's like that's why I just want to be like, hey, are you ordering something that is on the grill? But if I ask that. That also is the same problem. They're like, oh yeah, I want the, I want this, but I want you to put it on the grill after. Like, no, that's not what I fucking mean. So, like, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck to actually say. And so, yesterday I, I, I tried to... I, I've, I've been trying to, like, figure this out on my own, and I can't. I can't tell if this is an electric enemy. It's not. Okay. It's not elemental. You can fight it with whatever. So I guess I'll fight it with white, because it's near this thing? Will it start attacking my Pikmin if, if the Pikmin are there? Yes, but it doesn't really have much of a capability to kill. Um, yeah. It'll suck Pikmin up, and if they're stuck inside it for really long, then they'll die. But, uh... Yeah, I would just take out the poison vent and then just... Well, the thing it is, it was really over. close to the poison vent. I didn't think right. it was going to go away from it. So anyway, I was trying to think of a way to word this to eliminate all confusion. And so I'm like... I, I I tried I'm I tried saying like hey do you wanna do you wanna order a cheesesteak or are you getting a cold sub? And I said this and I and I think they, they somehow misheard it. It's like, oh yeah, I'm getting to go. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what they misheard, but I like I tried it a couple times and it never seemed to work. And, the, you know, it introduces the issue of like, do you want a cheesesteak or do you want a cold sub? It's like, uh like, 
you know, if, if the answer was just, I want, like, a chicken bacon ranch or something, which is considered a cheesesteak, but it uses chicken, they could just say that, and then, you know, that answers the question for me. That's fine. But the problem is just that people are dumbasses and they don't answer questions correctly. So it's like, me and Joel were trying to think of ways to make this easier. And he's like, you know, maybe you could call it like a deli sandwich. Well, and then like maybe, the problem is it, but... it has to be completely unambiguous or it has to be a proper Jersey Mike's term. Otherwise, it's not going to work. The problem is the Jersey Mike's menu... Ha it splits the sandwiches into cold and hot, but it calls them submarines and cheesesteaks. And to me, a cheesesteak is still kind of a sub sandwich anyway. So I'm not going to just say, are you getting a submarine? Because that sounds stupid. Sub sandwich. But I mean, that's the thing. I would still say I would like if you're getting a cheesesteak, I would still call that a sub sandwich. I feel See, like I, I feel I feel would. like I feel like you're maybe so. putting arbitrary constriction on this. I don't think this has to be a single question. I think it could be a short statement followed by a question. You could say something like, "Hey, I'm about to put uh, this on the on the grill." Um, there, like again, I, I I don't know what the correct statement here would be, but something like you know, I'm gonna put this on the grill. We put cheesesteaks on the grill. Slash, you know, we put certain menu items on the grill. I need to know if yours is going to go on there. In such a, I feel like there's a way to do that. That basically says there's a category of sandwich that goes on the grill. Is yours in that category? Real quick. Okay, thanks. Maybe. Do the thing, come back. Like, okay, what's your order? Like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, cause it's like, I feel like there's just there's too many exceptions, and. It, I really just like and the problem is whatever I pick that's going to be just me it's not going to stop the other people that I work with from saying hot or cold sub which introduces the issue of people being assholes and throwing off the system so it's, I, it, it just sucks I, so if everybody says hot or cold sub is that because that was the question you were told to ask no I don't I mean it's just if kind I, of the default uh, like so because basically, it's, it's, it is the official distinctive terminology, it's just that it's ambiguous. I don't know if it's official, it's just that's what well, people started doing. Because the thing is, like, the whole, like, yeah, throw my cold sandwich on the grill after you cut it thing, I'm still not convinced is actually a thing that we offer. Like, obviously we do, because we do it, but I don't think it's, like, a standard of the franchise. Hmm. I, it might be. I don't know, but it's just a very minor annoyance that I have to deal with every day because it always fucking happens. I swear, like two thirds of the time, when you ask that question, someone is gonna be like, "Oh, I didn't realize I can put my cold sandwich on the grill." Sure, do that. I'm like, no, I don't want you to. <laughs> It's it's a weird situation because I can, I can get the like yeah. I don't want to give you information that I suspect will change your mind, but really you probably should on a principle level. Like even I don't know what this one's called, by the way. official menu option or not, if people would change their decision if they knew about that, they probably should know about. <laughs> I know it's just annoying. Yeah, and to but... explain, and, and I, I want to explain this just because, you know, it. I feel like it's good information to have for people hearing me bitch about this. Like, it all basically just comes down to, are they throwing off the groove? Because if we have a line of people that are ordering things and, you know, we make them in the order that they are in the line, when somebody is sudden, when some, when somebody basically says, I want my thing on the grill, it throws everything off because, like, there's several things to consider. First of all, there has to be room for it, which there might not necessarily be. And if there isn't, oh shit, call them off. Just throw some purples over the fence. Oh, I didn't realize you could throw stuff over the fence. I, w I thought I would have to wait until the fence was down and then be very careful. Um. But yeah, it's like, you know, it introduces that issue, especially if they're doing a giant sub, then that takes up a lot of space. Um, 
but also it's just yeah it basically turns into the thing where it's like you know i finished cutting theirs so let me go sit it on the grill for a couple minutes while i make this other one and now that i've made this second person sandwich up uh, now the first one's ready so uh, sorry let me go ahead and grab this one and you know move that ahead of you mm -hmm. and it's 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 just kind of annoying it also like whenever you put whenever you put it on the grill it's gonna leave some meat residue or you have to deal with the residue that's already there from the last sandwich and sometimes yeah. you gotta scrape that off first and it just it takes time it's not that big of a deal unless you're in a rush yeah um and it, so I'm, I'm gonna feel like the bad guy here um you know normally i am very much like you know fuck the customer like they're here like you're, the you're working generator okay like you know i've heard all of your horror stories and many other people's of people just being completely unreasonable and i know there's even worse stories out there so i'm you know i'm not on the yeah. customer side in a broad sense but i feel like something like it throws off our groove to have to uh you know accommodate something that's really not all that unreasonable Honestly, I kind of feel like you should probably just deal with it. <laughs> That's my instinct. <laughs> I mean, I'm, you're not wrong. I like I, I, this happened last time too, where you were like, you were like in disbelief over how annoyed I was with this stuff, no, and the, saying that, like it wasn't the I, problem. I think... It's like, no, I'm not saying the customer is the problem here. I just hate them. Like, I hate all customers, but I hate some more than others. So, like, they don't have to do anything wrong. I still hate them. This is important to know. Well, you know me, it's hard for me to, uh, kind of... I tend to try to, you know, not... I don't know how to say this without sounding like an accusatory asshole, but you know what I mean. Like, you're saying, like, it's unreasonable, but I'm gonna feel that way anyway. I, t I try to not do that, but... I also probably shouldn't judge you for doing otherwise, like, we're only human. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think that's the important thing to know, is just... I, I feel like... I, I feel like it's almost impossible to work in, like, any sort of retail or whatever and not just hate every customer. Like, so I've heard. Like, even if they're being completely reasonable, still, like, fuck them. They get, you don't get out of my store. The store is best when it is empty, and it is spotless, and nobody is there to do anything. <laughs> like... That's how I felt in Pizza Hut, because... Like... They need you to constantly... Oh, there's a dumple behind you, if you didn't say it. Um, I did not. Ugh. Um, is that a different yelly cloaking snip from the one I was already looking at? Yeah, these are the- these yellow ones are called the lesser spotted jelly floats, and then there's the greater okay. spotted one. They are identical in every way other than HP. I see. I am a- um, I'm a big fan of yelly cloaking snip, by the way, that's another, uh, mock chain name. generated, uh, in enemy name. But, um, oh good, lobster. Hmm. That might be an issue. What do you mean hermit claw man? It's a fucking lobster. I'm good. Oh, now another treasure, eh? I'm trying to remember specifically what it was. I, I swear, like... Yeah, it, it's primarily when you're working either the opening shift at Pizza Hut, or if you're, uh, if it's, like, an hour from close, basically, it's, your, like, your entire job basically revolves around either preparing things or cleaning things, mm -hmm. and as soon as anybody actually places an order, they are just fucking scum. Like, <laughs> Like, you're interrupting my job. I don't care that my job is technically to make you food. Right now, it's to do this other thing, and you're <laughs> getting in the way of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being pretty slow at this, but I'm just trying to be methodical That's and fine. get what I can. Um, I'm also a little scared of the uh, format. I'm gonna make sure I'm ready for that. Okay, I think I've got all flowers now, which is nice. Yes, you do. 
The flowers couldn't trip. I just Some. don't think I ever said that was a thing. I, I just, I don't even remember anybody telling me in particular, I just thought it was the case. Damn. Alright, um, what do I want to use for chromads? I guess it's in the water, so I should use blues. Or at least near enough to the water. That's to be a fun sarn. So, here's the, here's the big question to come from all this, though. Now that I've told you all of this shit, mm -hmm. when you come to visit the next time, and we invariably take you to the store so that you can... You're gonna brief me on how to be. Uh, well, no, I, I want to. No, I want to be like you know. What will you? What minor transgression will you commit <laughs> that will like you know make me divorce you? Good. There's also gonna be the embarrassing factor. What of you being in the store but not working? Well, no, just you uh, of me being like having girlfriend. to take having to take a week week off work. Oh, what are you doing? Well, my girlfriend's coming over, and they're like, "Okay, well, what the fuck? Why does that take a week off?" Oh, well, she's from England. Oh my god, that sounds interesting. <laughs> and then you know you come in, and everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, hi! Can you say British things?" <laughs> like, it's gonna happen. Oh yeah, I'm actually surprised like... it didn't happen more when I was there the first time. But I guess I didn't really meet anyone, so. Like, there was you, Joel, and Joseph. I didn't get a chance to meet Martin. Did we interact with literally anybody else that wasn't, like, service staff? <laughs> I don't, I don't think, think we so. Did. Other than the, uh, you know, alleged living room lesbians. Oh, yeah, I forgot they were there. I like how that's just their term now. <laughs> Even though one of them is a man. Yeah. Alrighty, uh, we've got the scrumptious shell and I think the mirrored stage. Ah, it's a compact. I see. With not that it's a clam. With uh, most of the foundation used already. I remember when I used to wear makeup. I'm lucky I have pretty good skin, aside from, you know, the whole I grow facial hair, I need to shave thing. One day, skin. hopefully, that will be a thing of the past, though. How so? Uh, I would like to uh, pay for epilation, which is a process. I mean, a huh? Where the fuck my last two? Oh, they're getting chased by a bear. Fucking better not be. Yeah. Now the bear is in a. And... The bear is back in the valley of repose. Um, epilation is a process by which your hair follicles in a certain place, such as your face, are essentially electrocuted uh, to stop being scary. able to grow hair. Uh, I think there is like a tiny risk of partial paralysis or something, but, you know, oh. surgery always has minor risks. If you get something that's good, then I don't think it's dangerous. I'd obviously do more research before actually doing it, but from what I've heard, it's, like, the best way of getting rid of that stuff. <clears throat> think, of how much think of how much time, money, and effort I would save, uh, and, uh, you know, never have to worry about that again. Never have to feel gross in my face. <laughs> wow, I can't believe Doug Walker said that it was gross for Superman to kiss another man. Okay. I don't like- I don't trust like that. What is that? What's gonna come out of that? Perhaps nothing, perhaps everything. No, it should be nothing. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh! It was to distract you all along. <laughs> Just swarm it. Okay. Is there another one in there? Let's see, what is that, a woodpecker? This A new just... lima beans were bad for you. 
This whole just reminds me of a story I heard about a party getting to I just leave the way over here so you can exit quickly. Because I assume you want to nectar up the uh, other Pokemon too. Yeah. Um, I had a, I've heard a story of a party getting TPK'd by a, a group of kobolds just doing kobold what is things. TPK? Total party total, kill? Total party kill, yeah. Um, because, like, kobolds in D&D are notorious for being, like, I think most people just know them as, yeah, just shitty, weak, like, little minions that you throw at your players at first level. If you're not doing goblins, right? You do, uh, <laughs> you do kobolds. Um, Vorpal but, uh, Platter. Is that what this is? So that makes so. sense, these things are sharp as fuck. Anyway, um... Hmm. Yeah, um... But no, what they're supposed to be good at is making traps and basically using, like, guerrilla tactics. Sorry, I almost said guerrilla. I, I have been made fun of for pronouncing it guerrilla, and I'm like, I thought it was a Spanish word. I looked it up. It is a Spanish word. How do the Spanish That's pronounce true. it? Guerrilla. Hmm. But the, but the English word is pronounced guerrilla, and you're supposed to say guerrilla, so fine. Even though it seems That's wrong to me. My instinct was to pronounce it... I have never heard it guerrilla, but I can see the argument for that. It would be fine if I was just corrected, but they made fun of me like I was an idiot. It's like, how do you not know it's gorilla? I'm like, um, oh, maybe because it literally isn't gorilla in the language it comes from. <laughs> anyway. It is weird that, uh, I guess some words you change it and some you don't, because, you know, you, you're not supposed to say guillotine. Right. I know people do anyway, but... Yeah. I'm not chasing that particular topic today, though. Um... No, what I, was, what I was talking about with to uh, kobolds was, uh, yeah, they're supposed to be good at, like, laying traps and then that like kind of thing. It's, uh, it's neat. It's, uh, it's religious. It's charitable. Um, what the fuck is this? Exit pipe. Okay. You say so? Uh, uh, uh. Why do they keep doing that? I don't remember doing that in the first game. Yeah, they don't. They only do it in caves. Why do they laugh at stuff in caves? What's so funny? They're not laughing, they're just... That's totally a lot of things. Oh, I don't know. It's literally ha ha ha. Like, <laughs> I don't know how else to do it. Oh, yeah, you were making fun of that in the Colossal Cavern stream, I think. Just the ha ha ha. I am so bad at this game. <laughs> Was that what prompted it? I don't even remember. I don't remember saying that, but. Alright, these can't hurt you. Just throw Pikmin at them just indiscriminately. Okay. Even the red ones? Yeah. These have a name. Wait, shit. Sure. I almost threw stuff into the, uh... Helicopter. These are, uh, multicolored spectral No! You're fine. It didn't do anything. Oh. And they fucked off, I guess. Yeah, they do that. Oh no, I missed some corpses. Anyway, um... So, you know how these things work? These can be pop birds? Yeah. Don't these just rotate between the different possible colors? Yeah, but it's not a one-to-one -one conversion, though. Oh. Do you Basically, if, if you... Only one? No, it's the other way around. If you have less than 100, you can gain Pikmin here. Um, you put in one, and I think it gives you nine seeds. Good. Okay. Eight or nine. And you can only use them once each, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, so basically, um, I am- the way this story was described was there were holes very much similar to the one that was near the exit of the previous floor, where it's just like, you know, these little, like, two-foot holes that you would have to crawl into, and they would just lead to, like, little rooms on the other side that the kobolds were in, just, like, firing, you know, crossbows or something through them, and, you know, there was nothing they could do, because they would have to crawl through these tunnels towards a guy that's actively shooting at them to get through unscathed. And there's like a bunch of these, so yeah. So you know they they just kind of rushed in, being like, yeah, this kobolds just fucking just kicking their ass, and got their asses kicked because they went in and got fucked up by guerrilla tactics. <laughs> I thought that was uh Excellent. interesting. I mean, TPKs are rarely fun, but uh, I don't know. I don't think the DM did anything wrong by uh, saying it up. Maybe they could have let up a little when they were starting to fucking die. But sometimes these things just happen. That is going to be the exit. Yeah. 
Um, I never really knew These much. These pipes are just reminding me of, uh, ah, uh, boo. Those. No, they, they remind me of this, uh, the sign outside of my Walmart for, like, there's, That's like, a... to leave. No, it's not. Oh, it's this is, a uh, this is the replacement for the arboreal frippery, which is yeah. just the weed leaf. Um. <laughs> is that what you said, ah, boo? Yeah. I was, but yeah, so the Walmart thing, I think it's like there's just a machine where you can like put in a big plastic jug and just get like purified water. Um, and the sign has like a picture of a super rusty pipe and it says your water hangs around in some pretty seedy joints. Good. So is that the only thing on this floor? I didn't Might see anything be. else to do. Alright. Yep, I'll have a weed leaf. I guess that was it for this floor. Huh. <clears throat> I don't know yeah. if it was... Actually, no, never. I was going to say, I don't know if it was actually meant to be marijuana, but no, because in the fucking treasure description thing, Olimar says that he'll, like, try smoking it. <laughs> That's really funny. Well, let me find the actual description, because I... It's, are we ending the video here, or are you going to finish um, the... Um, this is probably a good stopping point, but I just wanted to say... I, I, I had more to say about Kobold, but now I don't know if I can fit it in before we wrap up but i'll try to do it quick i never really knew much about them at all outside of actually i think the first time i ever heard of them was in the minecraft mod twilight forest where they're closer to like the sort of blue dog like things from other games um and uh so you know i heard about them in DD being like little lizard people i'm like oh okay and uh there was oh oh this just leads back to the beginning i guess uh probably so enough, i guess i looked this thing up um so it says in the Japanese version, Olimar's journal entry states that the treasure has a strong sleep inducing effect and states that he might want to try it someday. Uh, the journal and the sales pitch denote that the wrong amount of it can le lead to eternal sleep. The uh, ship calls it dangerous drugs and the name in the Japanese version means one hit death. So yeah, here we have, you know, we will kill you. Um, I mean, the Japanese then, are like really like if you thought America was against drugs, like, you know, in the public <laughs> consciousness, like Jesus. It's kind of excellent. Um, but yeah, the description in the US version apparently is just uh, the ship seems to think this leaf would be a smash hit among naturalist interior designers. I just think it looks and feels like a soft blanket in the interest of a scientific discovery. I'd better give it a test run. Where the hell? What <clears throat> am I missing? Three Pikmin. I don't know. It doesn't matter though. They'll come right here. I guess. Anyway, the thing I was going to say about kobolds, I never really knew much about them, thought of them as the blue dog things. Heard they were lizards, and when I was running my first D&D campaign, um, I guess technically my only full campaign, I did do a mini one, one of my uh, players wanted to play one, actually two of them did, and they were like, one that was really enthusiastic about them, was like a big fan of kobolds, uh, and they were saying like, you know, these in some editions, like these guys actually count as like, they don't even count as regular humanoids. They literally count as a type of dragon. I'm like, that's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. I was sold on them. I really, I really actually like kobolds now. I've played one at least once. I'd probably do it again. I like their, I like their style. They're just little, you know, little uh, scrappy little. You know, they go around and shoot mini stuff and stuff. Dragon thingies that have a lot of moxie. I know they're fun. Anyway, uh, next time probably talking about something else. <laughs> See you. Then.